Then we got everybody's, I mean, I don't want to say everybody's favorite fighter because most people probably don't even know who he is, but nobody has ever watched a Nico Price fight and wasn't entertained. And now he's taking up Philip Rowe. Nico Price is incredibly fun. He has a willingness to put himself in harm's way, literally just for us, just for the fans. He's got solid striking, good submissions. He has a knockout KO off his back, which is forever going to be a highlight reel. And he's just a blast to watch. And he could beat anyone on any day with sheer determination, will, and just wildness. He's coming back after a year off and a win over Alex Oliveira. Philip Rowe is long and a high volume striker who does a great job using his length and range. His ground game is fantastic, but his wrestling could definitely use some work. And despite managing range well, he can be a bit hittable with almost four significant strikes per minute. He's coming off that win over Jason Witt where he was taken down, he was being dominated in the grappling, and then eventually found the KO in the second. Philip Rowe is going to lose to any decent wrestler with a chin. But that's not Nico. Like, right, Nico can wrestle. He's got six takedowns in the UFC, but he also has 14 fights and only a 22% takedown accuracy. If I could trust Nico to pressure forward and stick to wrestling, he's going to be the pick. But he gets caught up in having a good time, which is going to cost him and potentially will cost him the win. Not to mention, he does live in Cape Coral, Florida. A lot of those people have family there. They are still dealing with the effects of Hurricane Ian. There are... Complete areas destroyed. Everybody needs a new roof. They didn't have power for weeks. That's just a lot to deal with. Nico's got a wife. He's got a kids. Like, that's a lot to deal with. I don't know how prepared he's going to be. And I feel like he's on this card because it's in Orlando and they're trying to get local guys. So that's not necessarily a factor into this pick, but it's certainly a consideration. Philip Rowe is going to be the pick. That may change. As you know, we get closer to the fight, we'll see what the interviews are. For all we know, he's moved to Miami because he does train at MMA Masters. But last I heard, he was going back and forth for training and not living there overall. So Philip Rowe is going to be the pick, but Nico Price a ton of fun and always live.